Hey everybody, well it is week two of the fast. We just completed seven days of the media fast. I know that God is already beginning to bring breakthroughs inside of your soul. The second week we wanna to begin to fast for the body. Now the interesting thing about the body is the body has natural cravings and things it desires, which none of those things are bad, but sometimes we can allow our bodies to actually control our soul and our spirit. A good example of that is let's just say you get addicted to something in your body. You have to have sugar every single day. Well, what happens is you begin to spend time in fasting and saying no to your body. What you're saying is my body is not in control of me. My soul is not in control of me. What controls me is the spirit of God and the spirit of God dwelling within me. So here's what we're gonna do for the second week of the fast. I wanna challenge you to sacrifice something this week that you naturally crave, that you have to have every single day. I don't know what that might be for you. Maybe every single day you have to have sweets. Maybe every single day you love to eat carbs. Maybe every single day there's just something, a part of your life outside of food that you just have to have every single day. Well, here's what I want you to do. I want you to say no to your body this week and yes to your spirit. I believe that God is gonna to speak to you. I believe that God is gonna move through you through this. And so for me personally, what I'm gonna to begin to sacrifice this week, I don't know about you, but I love carbs, I love sugar. And so I'm gonna put those things out of my life all week, spend extra time praying and seeking God. And I believe as I'm saying no to my body and yes to my spirit, my spirit is gonna become more alive, more sensitive to God, and I'm gonna draw closer to God than ever before. And so that's week two y'all get out there whatever it is for you it's not about being um, less or more all it is about listening to God doing what God puts on your heart and there's gonna be breakthrough in your life